RVs for the most part, <laughs> unlike your regular passenger cars. Izzy's very passionate about this. You're RVing in the winter, you're not doing it right. Whether no, you agree really, with it or not, yeah. they are true. The salt, that's a big one. I hate it. Two and I've and half hated years. it for such a long time. Two and a half years. So you may notice behind us, our RV is currently under a cover. It's December, it's cold out. Mm. And there is a reason for that. In this <laughs> video, we're gonna talk about six reasons why RV camping in the winter is a huge mistake. Just so you know, as we go through this video, I'm sure some of you are gonna get angry and it's okay. And also, you know, thinking about RVing in the winter, I have a couple of friends that say, if you're RVing in the winter, you're not doing it right. That's just a disclaimer. This is not for snowbirds. These are for people at winter time, cold, snow, you know, freezing temperatures. And everything we're saying in here, although you might not disagree with it, it's actually factually true. So it's some good information. Let's get right into it. So number one, RVs, they're recreational vehicles. In many cases, I mean, we have many full-time friends and we love you all, but they're not meant to live in full time, especially in the colder. I mean, they're poorly insulated. They often leak mm -hmm. air from, from the doors, the slides. windows, yep. the underbody, vents, mm -hmm. slides, all things like that. Even the four season ones, right. they use that very loosely. <laughs> <laughs> we have a four season coach and we've been out in cold weather, very like, cold. you know, 20s. Yep. You feel mm -hmm. the air, the windows are cold. They are not insulated like our home. And we're gonna get a little bit into what we're talking about. And before we move on, for those of you that do love camping in the cold, just stop cursing in the the comments, hit delete, and just know that we will have another video as a follow-up to this talking about why RV winter camping is actually a good idea. The next reason is RVing in the cold does require a lot of energy in different forms. Yeah, definitely more energy. So most RVs out there, they run on propane furnaces and you'll be burning up propane because heat pumps don't really work too well when it's under 40 degrees. So like in the fall, spring, when we go out, we can run our heat pumps, not a big deal. Right. We don't really use the furnace that often. When we have gone camping, when it's cold, you'll see people, especially seasonals, there's a place yes. in New Jersey that's open all year. You'll see people that have two of the very large right, it's cheaper uh, propane to do tanks it that and way. they just, yeah, exactly. That just shows you how much propane they're, they're burning They're going off through of. a lot, yep. And then also, you know, following up on that, you are burning a lot of energy, even if you're using electric, you gotta be plugged in somewhere. Mm -hmm. So you're yeah. probably more than likely going to be plugged into a private campground, a home, wherever, but it requires a lot more energy than when it's warmer out. All right, the next reason why it's a really bad idea to <laughs> camp in the winter Winter, especially when it's cold, you need special equipment. And, I'm and sorry, you need hashtag stuff. Lots and, of stuff. And this is one's hard to get around. So, you know, you need water when you, to live, especially when you camp. If you need water, you're gonna need some kind of heated hose. Right, so we have, here's our bag. I mean, we haven't used this in a while. But here's our heated hose. We actually used that in DC and when we camped we in used Cherry them a Hill. Couple times. Yeah, but Cherry Hill, I remember, we actually had to cut that trip short because we had snowing. a huge snowstorm. We had to come home. You also might need some heated tapes. Sometimes the spigots, if they're not equipped, you want to tape them up to keep heat on them. Maybe some plumbing in the basement. Talking about the basement, heated base. Yes. Now we're fortunate on a motor home, we do have heated bays, but the majority of our RVers are, are towables. A lot of them, the plumbing is exposed. That can be right. a really big yeah. problem. That's why you need that heat tape. So you got to keep all that stuff that's in there, all your tanks, everything. So there's different ways that people do it, right? They'll put heaters in the base. We've actually done that too. We use those little heaters that we've showed you. They use the skirts, very cool. Remember the first time we saw that, yeah. the skirt? Well, you can have the skirting, but those inflatable skirts yep. that I've seen on the market too are pretty cool. Yeah, heated tanks, special insulation. We have double pane windows, but it still gets cold. Yeah, so yep. if we were out all the time, we'd probably put some insulation over the windows, extra insulation in uh, empty spaces. So a lot more you got to do when right. it's really cold out. You also have to be careful careful so certain things let me just grab this here is a pressure regulator now this doesn't do well in the cold and no, ask freeze. izzy how do we know this <laughs> because we you know did a little experiment with that once not on purpose but yeah it didn't turn out too well. That's a perfect piece of equipment where you'd put a, a heated tape, you know, some heated tape on there. So another drawback is that you're going to have a very smaller availability in terms of where you're going to be able to camp. So for example, in New Jersey, I see this in Facebook groups all the time. People are always saying, where can I camp in the winter? There's just a handful. There's one down in Clarksburg, New Jersey. It's a KOA. They're open and we see a lot of seasonals there. There's one close to us in Black, uh, it's Black Bear Resort Florida, in New Florida, York. New York. There's not a lot at all in this area. So yeah. They're limited. A lot of campgrounds close because they're not equipped to deal 
uh, with the cold. And they just know they're not going to get they the business, the business either. Right. right. And then even when you get to the campgrounds, and we've been to those campgrounds during the winter, there's fewer staffing, mm -hmm, for sure. Mm -hmm. There's fewer campers, but there's also fewer amenities. So you wind up paying a little bit less than you would in the season, but you get really nothing but a spot, right? right? Nothing's right. really open. So that's a, definitely a big disadvantage. And like we said earlier, if you're RV camping, you're going to need energy. It's very mm -hmm. difficult just to be in the middle of a field with snow and no kind of hookups, mm -hmm. especially in the cold. So the next one is RVing in the cold. It's just honestly dangerous for many reasons. Dangerous and just not acceptable to people with OCD like, <laughs> like you, right? How many times is, oh, let's go in the winter. The salt, that's a big one. Well, that's not even an OCD thing. You know, salt no, is, well, salt no, is corrosive. True. It can destroy It is very your, corrosive. Your so let's talk about the danger. We'll, we'll get into the salt a little later. So cold weather is dangerous. Mm -hmm. If you're out in an be. area yep. and it's very cold, you could potentially like freeze. Like you could have a big problem. Mm -hmm. So you have to be better prepared right. when you RV camping. You have to make sure you have enough propane. You have mm -hmm. to make sure you have enough equipment, enough food, enough water, right? Because water might not be readily available mm -hmm. that your tanks are full. Now talking about RVing, in the cold and winter even further, it can be dangerous. Driving a motorhome yeah. or a towable in the snow is not or a ice. fun thing. Could you imagine driving her in the ice? Well, you remember when we first <laughs> got Nelly and we were bringing her in, there was probably like that much snow and it started yeah. sliding yeah. in the back. Like I was I was flooring That's it. That's scary. It's scary enough in a car, yeah. <laughs> alone a motorhome. It's quite dangerous. I would not want to get stuck. I wouldn't even go on the highway and it starts snowing really bad because mm -hmm. you just don't have much traction Right. A lot of places require you carry chains mm -hmm, in the winter, mm -hmm. depending on, on what kind of uh, vehicle you have. And let's get into the salt. RVs, <laughs> for the most part, unlike your regular passenger cars. Is he's very passionate about this. If yeah. you didn't know this, most RVs, they are not uh, made with anti-corrosive properties on the frames and on the equipment like your car. Like cars are meant to be driven everywhere at all the time. They go through special coatings that will allow that frame to stay rust free for the most part for a very long time. Motorhomes are not. RVs or not, most of them. That winter trip that you might want to take may cost you way more money later when your frame starts rotting away. The uh, delicate equipment on here, you know, the motors for your stairs and all kind of other equipment, they just start corroding because you got sprayed with that liquid salt. Yeah, you could wash it off, but it really sucks doing that in the winter. I, it I really know, does. It's so cold, yeah. The next one is ice and snow. They're just not good on slides, guys. So you get ice on the top of your slide, it could melt, but then you have all this water, like tons of water. But if it doesn't melt and you don't even know it's there, say there's a small section you don't know, and you start moving those slides back, it that could be a real problem. Well, how about if you, if you do know it's there? You got, you know, three, four inches of snow. It sat there. It, it froze, you know, defrosted, froze, thawed, froze. And now you have like that hard coating and you got to move and you got to yeah. close those slides. The slides are not designed to have snow and ice on them. They're just not. Now you can have slide toppers, but even on your roof, let's talk about repairs. Has anybody Anybody ever tried to put work with Dicor in the cold weather? Because I have. And I'm not talking about freezing. I'm talking about like 40s. It sucks. It's yeah, hard yeah. to get off. It's hard to work with. It doesn't cure correctly. Extra preparation, right? If you mm -hmm. want to RV in the winter, you want to make sure that your roof and the seals are looking really good prior to it to start getting cold because it's very difficult to make a repair mm -hmm. when it's cold out. Here's an endless RVing tip. And uh, this is one promise that we, we make. We don't make many yeah. promises on this channel. If we go to an RV dealership and the slides are open in the winter we and, will, and it's cold it's in cold. a cold place like we know there's snow about to happen or it's potential to happen we won't buy an rv from there just for the very reason we just told you yeah. slides should really be closed when it's cold out if they're open again what we just told you in and out mm -hmm. ice no ice not a good thing. All right, and the last and probably the most important reason why <laughs> RVing in the winter is a really bad idea is because the, the cold, cold weather, weather sucks. sucks. And we can say that <laughs> because we've been dealing with cold weather since childhood. Yeah. Right now it's it's kind of, well, I shouldn't say it's green, it's brown behind <laughs> us. <laughs> oh, the sky is a little blue, but in 24 hours, we are supposed to get our first snow. Yes, and I am not looking forward <laughs> to it. And I hate the cold. I, can, I tell MJ this, it's right? like Scrooge. I can go out running. It can <laughs> be know. 95 degrees with 80% humidity, it doesn't even bother me. I the know. cold weather, I should say maybe like 30 and below, I hate it. Two and I've and hated years. it for such a long time. Two and a half years. Two I have no desire years. to go out. <laughs> if we're going to be RVing in the winter, it's just going to be like me sitting inside not wanting to go out versus like in the summer, I want to be out all the time. Yep. So in the comments <laughs> below, let us know, do you agree with the reasons? Like, what no, do you agree really, with or not? Yeah. They are true. And it's definitely something for people to consider. Some people love the cold weather. We're not those people. 
<laughs> but put in the comments below, are you a winter camper? Are you a snow camper? Mm -hmm. We want to know. And what do you do to help you camp during that weather? And for myself and MJ, it's a journey of a lifetime, and we'll see, see you, you on, on the road. road.